So if you're someone who wants to donate, for example, to a protest movement, or you want to, you know, protect your privacy, you don't want to use a credit card to donate to a protest movement because then if the government ever cracks down on protests, they can just go to the banks, they can go to the credit card companies and get your name and actually send someone to your house to interrogate you or potentially even arrest you. Um, but if you use Bitcoin to make a donation to a protest movement and you do it with privacy in mind, you don't just buy Bitcoin off the exchange, withdraw it and send it to the protest movement, but you... I think one very important example for people in Georgia today uh, is the example of Ukraine. Uh, last night I was in Tbilisi and I was very inspired to see everyday people protesting. Donate Bitcoin anonymously and then we would send that money to Ukraine to support protesters, to support humanitarian aid, you know, buy food, water, medical supplies for protesters who are in Maidan Square.